In this video, I'm going to show you how to expand and simplify um, some brackets. So, in our first expansion, um, we'll do 4 times 2x. Now, I have done simpler videos on this topic, so I hope you've seen the easier ones first before you try these. And then you'll know that it's 4 times 3 gives me 12. Uh, we'll keep the minus sign there for the moment, and we'll keep the brackets here. So, we're simply going to do 5 times x. 5x and 5 times minus 3 minus 15. I haven't applied this subtraction yet because I haven't removed the brackets. We'll do that here. So you've got your 8x plus 12, you must write that. Then you've got minus 5x and then you have minus minus 15. And minus minus 15 equals plus 15. So we've got 8x plus 12 minus 5x plus 15. So we'll look at the x's. We've got 8x minus 5x. So I'll write that over here as 3x. And then we've got 12 plus 15 is 27. So expanded and simplified, our answer is 3x plus 27. Now do another one. So now we're going to do 3 times 3x minus x. 3 times minus 2 minus 6 plus 2 times x 2x and plus 2 times 7 plus 14. I write my equal sign there and I want to use the space here. So we've got 9x plus 2x which is going to be 11x. Then we've got minus 6 14 plus 14 is exactly the same as 14 minus 6, which will give me plus 8. OK, another one now. So 6 lots of 2x. What I might suggest to you is that um, you maybe pause the video and try some of these yourself and then check with my answers. So 6 lots of 2x is 12x. And 6 lots of 2 is 12 minus 3 times 5 is minus 15 and then uh, minus 3 times minus 2x is plus 6x. So again remember the minus times the minus gives us a plus. The most common mistake is for our students to leave that as a minus. So let's correct the like terms. So we have 12x and 6x is 18x and we have 12 take away 5 which will be minus 3. The difference between 12 and 15 is 3, and the reason it's negative 3 is the negative is on a larger number. So that's expanding and simplifying brackets.